Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Koali Pops. My name is Sarah Jessica Parker and today we're creating two more animal friends. We're making Pina the purple panda and Roland the baby blue rhino. Now let's get to our first animal. Now if you like what I do on this channel, make sure you hit that like button to help support what I do so I can bring you more cakes. To create these animals, I'm just using my basic animal and PVC pipe cake system. If you want an in-depth look at how I created this, there are links for you in the description box as well as at the end of the video. It's pretty simple. Pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Now, if you want to see more of my animal cakes, I have a ton. And you can pick which one you want. I got really realistic cakes, and then I got some basic ones. But the basic ones are kind of my favorites because they all involve Twinkies. So make sure you check them out. Now after I stacked my basic cakes, I decided to cover Roland with some baby blue icing. Roland is a very, very rare type of rhino because his dad is black rhino and his mom is half white rhino and half unicorn. <gasps> what, you didn't know that? Not many people know that, but unicorns can breed with any other animal. It's true. Now after I finished covering my entire cake with baby blue buttercream, I added some Twinkies to create some arms and legs. Yes, you guys, not fondant. Only 5% of this cake is fondant. Can you believe it? I know, right? I'm like going through withdrawal right now. Just covered all of his features with baby blue icing, and then started to create his face with fondant features. Now, Roland isn't a unicorn, he is a rhino, but the swirl effect that he has on his horns come from his unicorn heritage. I also just thought it was super cute. After I finished adding all of the fondant pieces, Roland the rhino was complete. And the swirl effect on his horns make him look a little mythical. Just a hint of mythical. Now let's move on to Pina the purple panda. Pina started out with two types of dome cakes and my PVC pipe system. Let's create Pina. Uh, I actually just had to switch between white and purple buttercream. Now Pina was named after Pina Coladas because her mom liked to drink. <laughs> who doesn't who doesn't like to drink Pina Coladas? They they're non-alcoholic. They come with coconut and they come with pineapple and those flavors together. Oh, it's a dream. Is it coconut and pineapple? What's in a pina colada? Let's look at it. Pina colada. Oh, okay. Well, you can put white rum in it, but you can also not put white rum in it, and it's fine. It tastes just as good. Now, pina is a very rare type of panda. Her dad is a red panda, and her mom is a blue panda. And when they came together, they made a purple panda. Super rare, wow. Now I wanted to change it up a little bit, and by change it up, I mean I wanted to use chocolate Twinkies. <laughs> I really like the basic shape, so I didn't want to mess with the basic shape of the panda. I just wanted to change the flavor a little bit and give a little bit of chocolate to this very funfetti cake. If you want to use a grass tip to get like a fur texture, you can use it as well. But I love the texture that this tip creates. One of my favorite things about Pina is that she is very sarcastic. I love sarcastic people, but if you don't understand sarcasm, oh man, we can't be friends. Pina is the same way. A lot of people don't like her because they don't understand her sarcasm. Well, that's okay because I do. Once I added her catch lights, Pina, the purple panda, was complete. Isn't she adorable? It's very simple, right? Uh, I love buttercream cakes. I can eat all of it. <laughs> Fondant tastes okay. It's really sweet. Buttercream is really sweet too. But that silky texture though, that's what gets me. Now I'm curious, which one of my animal cakes do you like more? Do you like Roland or do you like Pina? I like both of them actually. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!